thank you for listening to the Unscripted Journeys podcast with Joe and Marcus. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email us at unscripteddreams at gmail.com. Please support us on Patreon at the Unscripted Dreams podcast where we have exclusive content. If you're listening on YouTube, you can find our podcast on iTunes, Spotify, or iHeartRadio. Thank you. We're good. Hey, what's up? This is Joe. Marcus, what's up? As we know, life is full of surprises, both good and bad. The day-to-day journey is full of unforeseen obstacles, and sometimes it's hard to see our way through. Beyond the norm and mundane are where unscripted dreams live. Join us for thought-provoking discussions and interviews to help us navigate through the fog and create our own path. We are the Unscripted Dream Podcast, operating outside the margins to motivate and inspire our audience. So today, which would be episode number nine, we're talking about our top five movies. Now, we could talk forever and a day about top five movies, so we may revisit this topic again. Um, But every ninth episode, we're going to do some type of bonus content as far as something totally different from what we normally talk about to keep it fresh. So with the top five movies, we're only primarily focusing on three specific categories. Uh, Top five comedic movies uh, from the category comedy, uh, top five action, and then top five sci-fi. Sci-fi. Yeah. So we pick the three categories we like in movies the most, but we will revisit this again, I'm sure. Um, And also we have a listing of must watch. So um, we will explain that shortly here as well. All right. Where do you want to start? (laughs) Ah, man. Well, Mr. Funny Man, uh, let's go with comedy. All right. Comedy was tough, you know, because I don't really watch Ooh. a lot of comedies like I used Man. to. <laughs> like, I more so watch stand-up and things like that. So this was – so all my stuff's going to be old. <laughs> it's going to be it's old stuff. Man. Same. Same. I agree, man. I agree with you. Uh, it could be just because of the era we grew up in. But at the same time, I try to be as well-rounded in comedy as much as possible because there's a certain type of comedy I like. I like slapstick humor type of comedy, like really childish people, like silly comedy. And some people like stuff that's a little bit more sophisticated or stuff that's like borderline comedy, but they put it in comedy because they can't classify it with anything else. Yeah, man. I know one of your movies for comedy, too. I know one of them. I've been quoted a lot of movies, so <laughs> um, the first one I think I'm going to go with is probably the one movie I really fell in love with and I probably would never get sick of watching ever just because every time I watch it, there's something to laugh at. And that would be Don't Be a Menace. Um, don't Be a Menace while drinking your juice in South, 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 what? South Central. Yeah, long title. Long title. Yeah. Dude. So it's it's definitely a Wayne's brother movie. I like those guys a lot. So um, don't be a menace is definitely there. I say if you've uh, watched a whole bunch of hood movies from the nineties, it's literally a parody of all of that in one. It's amazing. Do we have a problem? With the Do <laughs> we have a problem? Hmm. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, well, my uh, I guess number five, if I could go off off the list, will probably be um, "Snakes on the Plane." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be a comedy, but it was funny I was, to me. I was so disappointed when I saw that movie, man. And the whole time, I just wanted to hear uh, Samuel. Samuel Jackson say "MF." You know, he always had to say MF, so. That's when, uh, that was the start of when Sam Mel was doing every movie he could be a part of. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he released a new movie, like, every couple months, man. He didn't care. He that's didn't what care I call, what was. yeah, that's what I call running the score up at that point, <laughs> man. You name it, he's he's been that. He's been a scientist. He's been a pimp. He's been a drug dealer. He's Lawyer, been a, police. 
Everything. Yeah, everything, everything you can think of. Uh, a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> everything except an athlete. <laughs> Probably. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, what's, what you got next, Joe? Um, the next one, man. Ooh. Yeah, man. The next one is definitely Friday. Okay. Um, like right. I said, man. Yeah, I'm kind of biased here. I like these old cult classic movies. Uh, I'm I'm more so like a cult classic type of uh, movie watcher. Uh, Friday, you know, it's got my favorite rapper of all, one of my favorite rappers of all time in there, Ice Cube. Uh, in this movie, uh, with this screenplay, he got a lot of people their first break in movies. Yeah, he did. Uh, like you got Faison Love, Chris Tucker, Nia Long. Uh, you got uh, Bernie Mac in there. You know, and John Witherspoon, like the list goes on. There's a lot of uh, famous people in that movie. Yeah. All right, my my next one, I'd have to say is a uh, rookie Bobby Tyler Dagan. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we're gonna get jacked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> Just all those movies in that time, man. It's, those uh, Will Ferrell movies and. Like the Adam Sandler movies, all those were like classics. Classic. That, to me. Yeah, man, that knife scene was the best. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you I know see. what? I'm, I'm glad you said Will Ferrell because I he's on my list. Okay. Um, I would have to go with the very first Anchorman. All right, Anchorman. <laughs> yeah. Very first Anchorman when he punted that dog over the bridge, man. <laughs> That just took me out, man. <laughs> oh, that stuff is funny. Man. All right. So my uh, after was that one of yours? Is that yep, one? I of got yours? Oh, that's right. three. Yep. All right. So my third is um, the Water Boy. Ooh, man! <laughs> I forgot all about Adam Sandler. Yep. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> bro! Whoa. Now you make me thinking of Waterboy, Little Nicky. Uh, what's that, Big Daddy? Yeah. Oh man, yeah, I those are him, good. Man. Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison. Yeah. <laughs> Classics. Classics. Wow, dang, that's pretty good, man. Yeah. What you got? Um, for my fourth one, man, I kind of got to do it for the culture, man. Uh, I'm sorry, man. You know, I'm really big on it, but Rush Hour, man. Just because it was something that was never seen before at the time when it came out. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, yeah, you we never were. saw, like, yeah, Jackie Chan. Like, people are like, who the hell is Jackie Chan? And then, you know, Chris Tucker. Who's Chris Tucker? So when those two came together, they both kind of like, took each other's fans if yeah. that makes sense yeah i wasn't sleeping on jackie chan i watch all i watch all jackie Ch- oh Chan-ish. man you already know marcus <laughs> i'm a huge karate flick uh type of dude i love karate flicks so heck yeah man yeah. rush hour was good yeah, right. my number two is gonna be uh the jerk with uh <laughs> <laughs> steve martin steve martin <laughs> I think my brother had me watch. Somebody had me watch that because you know that's that's like a, that movie might have came out. When I was maybe I maybe might have been like five years old or something. Maybe I might not even been born. But that movie is that movie's a trip. Yeah. Well, you know what? With that whole concept of that whole movie, do you think that that might have had some influence with Dave Chappelle coming up with his very first episode, where on his show he uh, portrayed himself as being. Um, a Ku Klux Klan member, but he didn't know that he wasn't white because he was blind. So, like, you know, in the movie with the jerk, yeah. you know, he, he didn't, he had no idea that he was white living with a whole black family. Yeah. That's what makes the movie so funny. funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might have, it might have. That was, that was crazy. That That's one of those movies where you kind of look at it how things were back then. Like if that came out now, like people would freak, like freak out if you thought that today. But I mean, I think it was all in, it was all in good fun. 
So that's why I saw oh. <laughs> that's why I saw my list. For sure, man. That's that's some good stuff right there. Ah, man, and I guess I go with my fifth one. Um you know what? Uh, I'm probably gonna have to do this one because it was really well received, and that would be Scary Movie Two, man. Okay, that's another movie that's very quotable. Um, love that movie. All right, yeah, that's a good one. That and if that's your fifth one, the movie I thought you were gonna mention didn't make the list, man. I'm very uh, oh, it, it might be in my. It might be in my honorable mentions, man. If it's not in there, man, it's something uh I don't think we're as good as friends as I thought, man. If I <laughs> if it's not in there. But yeah, man. All right, my number one is uh Tropic Thunder. Oh <laughs> hey man. I w- Robert Downey Jr. did such a good job. I even got mad at him for playing that role. Like he did a good ass job. Yeah. That was pretty funny. Yes, yeah, man. That's just, that's one of the movies I could like watch. Like I watch, I can watch multiple times, and it's still as funny as it was the you know the first time I saw it. Heck yeah, man. That's a, that's a good pick right there. Yeah. So I'll just quickly go over my five of comedy of all time for me would be Don't Be a Menace, um, While Drinking Your Juice in South Central, um, Scary Movie Two. Rush Hour, Anchorman, and Friday. Right. So if you want to get down to it, I picked pretty much four hood-ass movies <laughs> and one mainstream movie. <laughs> well, some of them uh, hood movies end up being mainstream years later, but I think you get what I mean by that. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, my five is us. Snakes on the Plane, <laughs> The Water Boy, Talladega Nights, The Jerk, and uh, Tropic Thunder. So where are we going next? Action or sci-fi? Well, let's mention the honorable mentions on their oh. comedy. Oh, all if right. You don't mind. Yeah, let's do that. So I got uh, the honorable mentions of Harlem Nights. Mm-hmm. That's a really good ass movie, man. Love it. Yeah. Um, House Party would be that whole series. Um, I like that a lot. I got Dumb and Dumber. Um, I got Kung Fu Hustle. I got super bad. Super bad was on the mind. <laughs> and I got life. <laughs> All, right. All right. What about Blazing Saddles, man? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a classic, man. What's his name? Is this like, what's his name? He was, he played Willy Wonka. I Gene, forget his name. Gene Wilder. Yeah, 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 man, I love him. Him and uh, Richard Pryor did some good work together, man. Yeah. For real, that's a good movie. Yeah. Well, my honorable men- mention was uh, Super Bad, so that was it. Like I said, man, I ain't watch. I haven't been checking for comedy like that in years, so I'm good. I'm good to move on. Well, it seems like all the movies we name broke people's careers so these movies were like movies that people first got their taste on a lot of actors because this is the a lot of these movies were like opening acts for actors to go on to do other good movies yeah so i don't think we're too far off if that makes sense mm-hmm. all right you said actions next yeah let's do action, let's do action. <sighs> all right huh man I'm going to have to go with the Kill Bill series, man. Kill Bill. I'm a huge fan of Quentin Tarantino, so had to go with the Kill Bill series, man. I like all of them. Yep. I heard they might do a third one. We'll see. Same people? Uh, Yeah. Mm, that'd be interesting. To my, to my knowledge. I don't think they can move like that. It'd be a lot of stunt. Uh, stunt actors. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's old, man. They all old. Well, that. shoot. Everybody using the stupid CG animation now, doing the most ridiculous stuff. So yeah, that's true. And it's crazy now with that, uh, like the digital double, where they can just put your face, like put the face on the uh, the stunt, the stunt person. Yeah, you like that Will up. Smith movie, Gemini Man. Yeah, yeah that's a good movie. I haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna check that out. 
Or you know what? I didn't put any Will Smith movies down, and I'm a huge Will Smith fan. I know. I got a, I got a, a Will Smith flick in the, the honorable mentions. Uh, oh man, I suck. <laughs> I thought for that, and I thought that for uh, Denzel too. I don't have any Denzel movies on my list either. What? It feels like I committed a crime, man, for not having that man. Hey, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but uh I guess one I can't really put these in I can't really put these in any order, but uh I guess I'll say my number five is uh the Oceans Eleven series. Wow. N- not Oceans Eight. Not the the newest nah. one, because that one wasn't it's as good. Garbage. But yeah, those those movies were smart, man. They're smart and they're funny. You gave you a little <laughs> bit of everything. Not I don't even know if it falls in the category of like action but it it was well rounded yeah. it had everything in it and that reminded me of the one scene where uh my man's got stuck and he was like where the fuck you been <laughs> <laughs> he can't speak a lick of english through the whole movie yeah. but that's the his one liner for english that it was crazy bernie mac in that <laughs> man that, yeah. you know what i think i think i know what the movie you were talking about with comedy bad santa that was my movie. That was my movie. Yeah. Soul Man was funny too <laughs> with Samuel and everybody. Yeah. But, I'm gonna tell Ma. <laughs> that's pretty funny, man. But yeah, uh, Oceans, the Ocean series minus Oceans Eight. That's good, man. So the next one, uh, you know, I like a lot of karate flicks, man. So I had to pick one that's kind of well known. Um, it's a '70s flick. It's called Enter the Dragon. Uh, Bruce Lee, bro. For, yeah, man, Bruce Lee, bro, Bruce Lee. So I was a huge, well, I am a huge Bruce Lee fan. Fan. So Enter the Dragon definitely had to go on that list as far as action, man. I got you. What about a uh, Meteor Man? <laughs> that, that's <could> that make- <laughs> that's a classic. Didn't make my list, but that's a classic. That was a, you know, it had Super Saiyans in that movie, Joe. <laughs> that hair, bro. But uh, nah, my my, uh, <laughs> my next one is um, let's see, uh, the Born Identity series. Wow, yeah, that's in that's there. Pretty good. That's in there, man. All those movies are good, and I haven't seen that. I didn't see no the last the the. Um, the newest one where he's he's older, but all those man, all, all those movies are real good. Great story. Pretty good, man, for sure. I'm gonna break the bank with this next one. All right. Die Hard. Die Hard. Bruce. Yes. <laughs> Bruce. Bruce. Bruce Willis, man. Uh, I don't know what it is, but Die Hard is one of those Christmas movies I could watch <laughs> nonstop every year from start to finish and won't get sick of it. That's how much I like that movie. Okay. All right. Uh, My next one I will say is the Bad Boys trilogy. Damn, yeah, that's a really good series there, man. Um, Shoot, I'll go with my fourth one, man. John Wick series, man. John Wick? Yeah, I ain't never seen no action like that in any movie. That's yeah. He's crazy. Non-stop. non-stop in that. I don't, I don't really like the third one, but first two were first two were pretty good. Oh, it's only going to get better because Lawrence Fishburne <clears throat> getting down in that fourth one. So yeah. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see, man. Uh, my next one, I'm going to say it is a tie. It is a tie for... Um, Castaway and uh, The Dark Knight. Oh, okay. It's a tie right there. It's like two. I don't know if Castaway is action, but I mean, he was out there on that island, bro, trying to figure it out. Oh, no, that was action, man. <laughs> it was it was fight or flight at that point. So, but no, that's, that's, that's my tie. Okay. <clears throat> So I guess I'll go with my last one, man. And my last one would be back again to kind of like an eighties joint, which would be Rambo series. Rambo. Yeah. How many Rambos? 
Uh, they up there, man. It's like one, two, three, four. It's it's got to be five of them. About five, four or five. Bro, I haven't even seen Rambo any of the. I probably seen like one or two of them. Really? So I know I probably need to check them out. Yeah, yeah man. You yeah. missing a lot on that? Yeah, I know. I know, man. Uh, my number one is going to be a uh, Transformers. All of them, except for this Bumblebee one that came out recently, because <laughs> that was a um, that was like an after school special, child's play film. Hey, and you I know what? <laughs> that kind of that movie kind of reminded me of Honey, I Blew Up the Kid, kind of. Yeah, man, it's all uh, it's all cheese. It's all this is the whole movie was cheesy, and I was kind of mad I went, but I was obligated because I love Transformers, so. Well, look out! They're they're gonna be uh, making another Transformer movie too. I, I believe. Well, hopefully it's not like Bumblebee. Hopefully it's not like that. But uh, so <clears throat> let's um uh, let's go over top five for action action adventure. Uh, I had uh, Ocean's Eleven, not the Ocean's Eleven series. Not Ocean's Eight, not the fourth one in the series. Uh, the Born Identity series, Bad Boys trilogy, uh, a toss up between Castaway and the Dark Knight, really the Dark Knight trilogy, and uh, Transformers, not Bumblebee, not that trash movie. <laughs> All right, for my top five for action adventure. Um, and the reason why I picked, like I said, all my top fives is the reason why I pick them is because they're usually opening up to other movies or their series. So it was only right for me to have the list I did. So Kill Bill series is number one. Enter the Dragon is number two. If you've seen any of Bruce Lee's movies, they're amazing. Uh, third one is Die Hard. That whole series is interesting, but that first one is a special place in my heart. Uh, fourth would be John Wick series. I like all of them. And the last one would be Rambo series. Um, but I really do like the first and second Rambo. All right. Who's your um, honorable mention for action? Honorable mention for action? I would have to say 300... 300 would be there. Uh, Gla- Gladiator as well. Okay. Um, and that's all I really can think of right now. All right. One of mine is 302. And the other that I say falls in that category, uh, kind of, it's kind of sci-fi, but Watchmen. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. A pretty good movie, man. But uh, let's go ahead and transition over to sci-fi. Yay. Now it really gets intense because some of this stuff is action movies. So my yeah. action list ties in with my sci-fi list. So I had to remove some of the stuff out of my action to put in sci-fi. And you already know I'm going with for number one. What's that? Really? The Matrix. Matrix. Yeah, man. There's just something about it. Matrix is great. It's good. It's good. It's on my list too. It's on my that, list too. That that third one tapered off, but that first one and the second one, man, that second was my favorite. But yeah, that's where you first saw that bullet time. That bullet time, <laughs> and it was yeah, it was man, that's something special. Then yeah. every freaking game gets bullet time. Go Max, figure. Max Payne, <laughs> Max Payne was the first, I think, to really do it. Was Max Payne. Yeah, I think because I remember my brother playing it and laughing at him because he he wasn't doing something. <laughs> <laughs> but then no, that stuff is it, it, pretty cool. Um, that game was difficult. <laughs> it was, it was, man. Uh, my first well, number five is a uh, Unbreakable. Oh, with uh, yeah. Bruce Willis and Sam Mel. Sam Mel, all he all over this list, man. He all over the top. That's, that's Even, what, yeah, that's what happened when you do everything you, that, you, <laughs> that, you, that you get approached with. <clears throat> but no, nah, man, Even, just 
Even the sequel to that movie is great. Glass shit. I mean, the um, I think it's just because it was that superhero element, and that was the first time we kind of saw it in that, like the light that they kind of presented it in that movie, mm-hmm. just like a regular, a regular guy who ends up not being as normal as you thought. Man, it's a good story. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna be a cheese. So the second one in my lineup for sci-fi would be Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. How many Star Wars are they making now? I mean, which like originally it was six, and now they added like three more. So it's like nine, ten, ten, ten flicks. Because I don't even so, like I don't even understand where they're at now. Because the movies come out, then people are mad about it, and then they make the one-off movie, right? Yeah. So. Originally, it was the first three in the 70s, late 70s, which was episode four, five, and six. Then in 2000s, they did episode one, two, and three. Then in this past decade, they did the, they pretty much did three, three all over again, I think. Yeah, something like that. And there's too much, too much going on, man. I just can't do it. All right, my uh, number four. I guess number four on my list is a Minority Report. <laughs> that was a creepy movie. It was, man, but it's pretty, it's pretty good. Some, some quality acting in that. Tom Cruise. Well, I know you love this movie, and it's got to be on your list. My third one would be Inception. Yep. It's on the, <laughs> it's on the, it's on the list. Inception is good, man. It's a good movie. That movie was crazy. I watch uh I watch Inception like once a year or once every year and a half, man. It's a must watch for me. It's on my it's on my like itinerary. Cause it's it's that good just because there's so many levels to it, man. Great film. Great film. All right. My number three is the Matrix. Like I already kind of said the the trilogy. Okay. Well, I'll just shoot off my fourth one. The fourth one would be the Avengers. Okay. Okay. Just the Avengers? The whole series. So from Iron Man to Avengers Endgame? Um, you can tie that into that for sure, definitely. Because I definitely put my money on all of that shit. <laughs> I think that, man, I think, uh, I think that's a whole other category of movies. It can I think be, it's its but... own genre. It, yeah, for sure. Because it's like a mixture of comic book slash sci-fi. Um, yeah. I think it's, it's its own. It's in its own little thing. But Sure. Uh, all right. Well, my number two sci-fi is um, Interstellar. Ooh. Yeah, that was good. That's real good. Man, I watched. I think I've watched it like two, three, two, three times. But Stuff was crazy. Stuff was crazy, man. The whole way that thing, the whole way that movie is set up, like Chris Nolan does, uh, he does some like he does some special things, man, that nobody else can do. I mean, that's like the Dark Knight. What else, Chris Nolan? Um, what else did he do? He does some other stuff too, but man, stuff, but that, stuff is always that- good. Yeah, that role outshadowed anything else he's ever done. What you got at the number one spot? Um, Man, you know what? I, these are, have no rhyme or reasons, but this is one of the biggest movies of all time, so I had to go with Avatar. Avatar? Yeah, modern-day Pocahontas. It's pretty good. Can't even hate. They're coming out with a sequel next year, I believe. I'm a hate. I don't even know what that movie is about, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah. But, uh... Three hour long movie about cowboys and Indians, if that makes sense. Yeah. All right. My number one. Well, my number one is Inception. So we already talked about how much I like it. But yeah, bro. Good movie. Okay. Good movie, man. Well, I got three honorable mentions for you. All right. All right. So we got the Terminator series. Oh, okay. 
you know, I am a fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger, truth uh, be told. Um, Blade, I love Wesley Snipe movies. Uh, Blade 1 and 2, I love them. I really don't care. Yeah, I don't care for Blade Trinity. That's trash, but uh, the first two Blades are amazing. I like them. Blade should have been in Avengers, man. He was the the original. Right. He He's the one that... He started it. If it if it wasn't for Blade, because he's a Marvel comic character, none of this X Men stuff and all this other stuff wouldn't have started. He's the one that opened up the lane and broke that. So, to give you some history there. Yeah. Um, and the last one would be Fifth Element. Fifth Element, another Bruce, another Bruce Willie. Bruce and Chris Tucker, man, I love it. It's a good movie, man. All right. My uh, uh, my other or honorable mention for kind of just I guess my just remaining others is going to be Benjamin Button. Not for the like the little cake story that's in there, but the just the <laughs> just the the concept of someone being born old backwards and, and Asian <laughs> in reverse, just like everything that was involved in that man. I thought it was a uh, just a good movie. And my other, my other, other is going to be uh, the pursuit of happiness. I don't know what category that falls into, but it's definitely not action. It might be sci-fi if you believe in certain things. <laughs> uh, but uh, but uh, no, nah, man, just a just a real good story about you know overcoming obstacles and things like that, man. Well, I have no rhyme or reason for my other category. I just have a list of movies that you must watch. And, you know, of course, what Marcus mentioned is other category. He's you can assume the same thing. Um, I'm going to list The Pianist. I really love that movie with Adrian Brody. It's a World War Two movie. Cool. Basically, he's a Jew and he's trying to make his way up out of there as they crack down on the Jews and assassinate him. Not much talking in the movie whatsoever. It's just a bunch of screenplay. You just got to watch it. It's a good movie. Um, Of course, Fast and the Furious. The very first one. I fell in love with it. I'm I'm big on cars, especially JDM. Uh, If you don't know what JDM is, that's Japanese vehicles. Uh, So, (laughs) yeah, man. I'm into all of that. All right. I got I got Pulp Fiction for you as well. Pulp Fiction. That's another Quentin Tarantino for you. Um, anytime, feel free to cut in because I got this long list. Oh man, <laughs> well, I only got all right, man. Well, I only got a couple. Uh, the another Chris Nolan film, uh, The Prestige. Okay. With the uh, Christian Bale and what's what's his name uh, that plays Wolverine. Yeah, that's Hugh uh, Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Yep. When I first saw it, I was like, this silly movie about magicians. Like, I ain't trying to see this. And I started watching it, man. It's on another level. Real good. Real good movie. That movie Chappie is really good. It's got him in there. Chappie. That's a really good movie. It slept on. Yeah. Um Oh, why did I not mention that? I really like went to the movie theater and saw this movie about three times. That's how much I liked it. The last Wolverine movie. I saw that three times in the movie theater. Uh, the one with his daughter? Yes. Oh, yeah, that was good. It was different. I was like, this is how Wolverine movies should have been from the get-go. That's a good movie. A good movie. But, uh, yeah, outside of that, um, Good Will Hunting is a movie. Good, mm. good movie. Robin Williams is a uh, – I think he was underrated just – as an actor, because he could miss Doubtfire, because <laughs> he could, uh, man, he did a few. He did, uh, what was that other movie? He did, uh, What Dreams May Come, where he like went to hell or something to find, <laughs> find, find, find his wife or something. Like, man, it was, uh, it's crazy, crazy movie. But I think those are mine, man. I'm spent. I'm spent. All right. Life. You ready for this insane list of re- uh, for the rest of these movies? Yeah, man, go ahead. <laughs> it's all your time now. 
All right. You got, uh, this is totally random, but I believe it's called like Saturday Night Fever, Saturday Night Live. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's with John Travolta. And basically it, it's like a love story and it revolves around disco. So basically it's disco and love and <laughs> it's, it's an old flick, but it's pretty good, man. I couldn't even front when I saw it. I was like, damn, this is a good movie. <laughs> Um, let's go down another John Travolta movie with Nicolas Cage called Face Off. That was pretty good. Uh, basically, guys, uh, they exchange identities by surgically removing each other's face and put them on each other's bodies. Um, so that's like pre get out type stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the movie was great. Um, I got Shawshank Redemption. Um, you know, I got to represent for the old man. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, Morgan Freeman is a great actor. So had to put him in there. Um, Indiana Jones, that whole series. Um, Temple of Doom was my personal fave, but I liked all of them. Yep. Yep. I got one for you. Uh, Silence of the Lambs. Um, a lot of people might be turned off to that movie, but the genius behind that movie with Hannibal is pretty good. Um, Saw, I really was a huge fan of the Saw movies um, just because it's a whole different concept. And actually, Chris Rock is recreating the Saw series, oh, yeah. if you didn't know that. I saw that. I saw that. So I can't wait to see what he does with it because Chris Rock... I can never take him serious because he's been such a funny guy. So I saw the trailer it's... for that. It looks like, <laughs> it looks like he's just going to be serious. Yeah, so I'm probably going to be smiling while he's getting tortured. Any so. Sam L in that? Sam L. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Bro, I think he that's, is. That's going to make it even better. That's going to be a good movie. I can't even front. Um, famous war movie, Saving Private Ryan. It's pretty good, man. Uh, that's very good. Um, go see 1917. That was pretty that good. That was crazy. That was really good. That was crazy, that movie. Man, that's, yeah, you just got to see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like shot in two shots, not one shot. Seems like two, right. two shots. They don't flip at all. The screenplay just keeps running and running and running and running. That's That's what he means by that. So, like, you know how movies are broken up in scenes where they switch back to each other's face. The movie's not shot like no. that. That's what makes that movie great. Yeah. Um, We got Rocky. You know, I usually fall asleep on watching Rocky marathons, but just the whole concept and the whole idea of the movie and how they revived the series in an intelligent way with Michael B. Jordan, Uh, you know, Rocky's pretty good. Um, this is definitely out there. It's called Clockwork Orange. Um, it's a weird movie. Oh, that's out there. Yeah, yeah you're right. It's a UK right. movie, yeah. but Clockwork Orange is the stuff for people that know what it is. Uh, my favorite zombie movie, 28 Days Later. Yeah, just watch it. <laughs> um, we got Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I think that came out in like the late 60s, but that movie's great. Um, we got a movie called Screwed. Uh, that's Dave Chappelle, Norm MacDonald, and um, Danny DeVito. Uh, we got Jurassic Park. Um, you know, that's that speaks for itself. Sam L. Jackson's in that, too. You know, he, he gets eaten <laughs> alive by a dinosaur because he wants to go outside and smoke a cigarette in a lab coat. <laughs> but, hey, just, just, just like a deep blue sea. <laughs> when he got eight. That movie was a comedy. That's a comedy as well. Yeah, with El Cool J and the uh stuck in that oven being cooked by a shark. Yeah. Like who who writes this? Who comes up with this stuff? Yeah. Um all right, we got Fargo. Fargo's pretty good. Um Green Mile. Oh yeah. You know, that's that's really good. Uh, Exorcist. Um, people like it because it's creepy and stuff, but to be honest with you, 
I laughed at the movie just because it was just so ridiculous. Um, but Exorcist is definitely a classic. Um, I'm a huge Kurt Russell fan, so Big Trouble, Little China. That's a good movie right there. Um, and another Kurt Russell movie with uh, the late uh, Isaac Hayes, rest in peace, is Escape from New York. Um, a lot of concepts for movies nowadays is stolen from Escape from New York. So I highly recommend you take a look into that movie. Um, I got a couple more left. I got Uncle Buck, John Candy movie. I like John Candy. John Candy always makes me laugh. Um, from like space balls to uh, planes, trains, and automobiles. Uh, we got um, a Chris Farley movie in here, which is Beverly Hills Ninja. And I think that was his best movie ever. Chris Rock was in there too. That's pretty funny. <laughs> and it's got the dude that played Luke Kang from Mortal Kombat in there. Um, and then we got Training Day. Uh, like we said, you know, what would I be if I didn't mention a Denzel Washington movie? Uh, but you know, he's more so listed under like a drama category. But Training Day, you know, that's that's classic for sure. Yeah. Shout out to my boy Hector. <laughs> <laughs> Hector's in Training Day, Hector's in Fast and the Furious, and a bunch of other movies, if you know who Hector is. <laughs> That's it, man. I, All right. I think I bored these people. You might have. You might have, man. You were talking for the past three minutes, man, straight. <laughs> but no, nah, man, a lot of good, a lot of good movies, man. A lot of uh hope we mentioned some stuff that people haven't seen and that hopefully y'all will check out. Yeah, so during this quarantine, I hope you guys take the time to stream these movies because some of these movies are on Netflix and some are on Hulu and you can oddly find them on YouTube or other places. So I highly encourage you to um, check out some of these movies. Um, another movie I ran across, which is a really old movie that you probably never heard of before, Legend of Billy Jean. It's a corny 80s movie, but it's good. Um, Legend of Billie Jean. Oh, and Airborne. It's a skateboarding movie. Or rollerblade movie. That's a good one, too. I'm done. <laughs> I'm sitting here all day. I'm a movie buff, so. Maybe. Yeah. Well, all right. As we uh, wrap this up, I said this. Uh, like, we'll do this, would you say, every nine episodes. So just something to take a break from the the other things that we're usually talking about, but uh, don't be fooled. We're going to get right back to it uh, next episode. So, so uh, thanks for listening and uh, we'll catch y'all next episode. All right, people take it easy.